Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about Mercury transiting the fifth house in a natal chart. Now, Mercury, say if your house is like about an average size house, an average size house is 30 degrees. Uh, Mercury will transit it generally if it, if it is only direct between two to four weeks on average. However, if your house size is a little bit bigger and or Mercury goes retrograde at any point in the, this transit, then it'll be in there longer. So anyway, people, first thing is uh, as far as Mercury transiting one's fifth house, I think one thing that, that stands out to me is that uh, communication perhaps with children, with romantic partners, uh, will could be very strongly increased and be more emphasized during this period. It may be uh, a time where you might have a little bit uh, more activity connected with creativity, uh, with children, uh, with with romance. You might have something. It maybe it maybe something happens where you have an on and off again romance during this time because it could show a lot of restlessness and a lot of activity during this period. Um, and it, it could be something where with a romantic uh, partner, maybe you go through more than one. In, in some isolated cases during this period because Mercury often brings about a lot of activity and a lot of restlessness. And the thing too is, is that children and romantic partners may be more loquacious and more talkative during this period. The, the romantic partners and children might require more uh, mental stimulation than usual. If you do have children, you might be seeing, uh, checking out, evaluating them intellectually and verbally in their communication skills during this time. If you feel they're not up to par on one of those two things I mentioned, then you might you might be trying to do something to make modifications and enhancements in that if they are up to par, but you, you, you still might be doing some analysis uh, with them and still uh, in, in just trying to just um, just to see, uh, you might still reinforce this at this time with them in terms of still maybe improving on these levels. So uh, the thing about it is too, is that you might take a multitude of short trips during uh, the uh, things connect short trips connected with enjoyment, whether it's amusement parks or it's going to a ball game or you're taking a trip to go on a picnic somewhere or something, anything that's going to be connected with enjoyment. You might have a, a lot more short journeys uh, than usual. That could even be uh, anything like a just like a park or even a batting cage if you're into sports, for example. And there might be you might be more interested in games that involve uh, that involve in that are test your intellect and, and really challenge the mind, such for example as Mastermind or um, or Stratego, for example, or Risk, those kind of thing games. And really, there might be more perhaps enjoyment maybe with siblings and even neighbors. There might be more activity connected. If you have, if you have siblings and if you're friendly with your neighbors, you might have a lot more activity uh, connected with them in terms of uh, things of enjoyment and maybe doing things of a fun nature uh, with them. This could be a period where you might, uh, there, there might be perhaps uh, romantic partners and children. You might be uh, maybe getting together on, on hobbies that you're both interested in, uh, things that are of enjoyment. This might be a time where your mind might be dominated by things of a speculative uh, nature. If you're like, say for stocks, for example, something like that, or in really, you might have, you might take a lot of pride and dignity in terms of your ideas right now. It could be a time where you really want to express yourself. But keep in mind that Mercury has made the transition from the fourth house to the fifth house. And it, you, you may have been a little bit more introverted, a little bit more introspective when Mercury was traversing your fourth house. And now in the fifth house, you could back to be a little bit more extroverted and gregarious. So this could be uh, a period where you might, uh, you might enjoy doing certain things, but more of fun, uh, fun like things. You might have, 
you might not really be as much into doing things that require uh, laborious hard work at this time. You might, your mind might be more set in doing things that you really like to enjoy. And keep in mind, this could also be a time where you might be a little bit more mischievous than usual because we are incorporating with Mercury the mind and also the fifth house is connected with fun, amusement, and enjoyment. So you get the idea. It might be a time for maybe some whoopee cushions or some uh, fake worms coming out of a can, that kind of thing. And uh, and if you're if you're unattached and you don't have a romantic partner, it might be that time where you're doing some thinking about maybe perhaps uh, getting one and more mental activity with the, you might be going online and looking in, in, in look going to some dating sites, for example, and trying to see if there's somebody that might be out there compatible for you. Well, anyway, it's also important to look at the, uh, the sign that Mercury is in during this trend for either whether it's the majority or the whole transit uh, is this could flavor the transit. Now let's say for example that Mercury is in Pisces for either the majority or the whole time of the transit. This could be the mind might be geared a little bit more toward things that are that are connected with illusions such as like magic and, and keep in mind the fifth house is connected with uh, enjoyment. And so it could be something where you might want to do something like where you know, as something connected with an illusionist or magician during this some something connected uh, with illusion or even something where even photography because that could be associated with Pisces but 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 enjoying the process in your mind might be more connected with this you might be uh, really uh, it could be something where maybe you do some creative writing connected with things of a fantasy nature like such as fiction or fantasy writing now if mercury is in aries uh you might be talking to maybe romantic partners or children uh in a very assertive and very uh direct and outspoken uh manner during this time so those are uh some things to look at as far as the mercury by sign now let's say as far as transiting the fifth house now it's also important to look at that the aspects that are made uh, from this transit as well to your natal planets as this could impact the transit. Now let's say that transiting Mercury is making a square in conjunct or opposition, uh, let's say uh, to your uh, natal Pluto during this time. This could indicate that uh, perhaps you might come across a little bit too forceful maybe in, in your speech or in terms of maybe trying to transform maybe uh, maybe something connected with the fifth house such as children trying to change maybe their their view on something for example or a romantic partner or just somebody maybe you're, you're maybe that's associated with you if you have hobbies that you do with somebody it could be someone like like it could be something like that also another example could be Let's say, for example, that the transiting uh, Mercury in your fifth house makes a sextile or trying to your natal Mercury. Well, this could indicate perhaps uh, you might be able to verbalize things, uh, perhaps, for example, of a creative nature in a very clear, articulate and perspicacious manner and will be, can be readily understood without uh, being misconstrued by somebody. Well, anyway, people. That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Mercury transiting the fifth house in a natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about Mercury transiting the sixth house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.